I'm back and I'm bringing you a new tutorial on how to do 3D text in After Effects. So what you want to do is first you create a solid and make it a black solid. A new, create a text layer. And once you've made your text layer, just write whatever you want. I'm just gonna write. I normally use uh, lemon milk, but you can use any font you want. It doesn't really matter. Now on the black solid, you want to search uh, effect, effect, video copilot element, uh, custom layers, custom text and masks, path layer one. You click on the text layer, scene setup, extrude, and then you'll get this. Go to presets, and if you've downloaded Pro Shaders, you can have that. So let's just go metal. All right, that looks nice. That's what I normally use. Uh, scene materials, bronze metal. Then, if you have this one, for example, you can change the ref the reflectivity, and you can do whatever you want. So let's just go here. Uh, nebulas. You can add whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter what image you add to it, as long as you add the image the color to that and as you can see we've got a 3d text with a image onto it so hit ok hide that and now we have our 3d text uh, what we're gonna do is I'll show you here if you want to animate your 3d text you go group one particle look you can change the particle size or whatever let's just do that multi object enable multi object and then if you keyframe it you can make the text move, I'll show you here. Uh, <clears throat> move that. The end of it is here. See, the text is moving. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. You can make these spin. You can make it go like that. And if you want to know how to make the text pop out, and in from each other, you high group one. You have to make sure you go animation engine, then enable the animation engine. And if you turn this up, as you can see, it pops out. So let's just do zero. Oh, 100, sorry, let's turn that to zero. Graph edit it. this too fast like that. let's just turn our A down real quick that might be a bit too fast but you can always change it so let's just get rid of that for now bring it back to zero and then to make it blend in I normally use sapphire glow Put that on it, turn up the glow width, turn down the brightness a bit, S underscore rays, put the rays on, and then I like to turn the threshold down uh, to whatever you like, bring the rays up, then I turn the ray brightness down, and then I do drop shadow, once again it's sapphire, and then I bring that up, the shadow blur. And the shadow opacity you can do whatever you want with it and another thing you can do to your 3d text it will up your render time but it looks nice you go to render settings um, this thing ambient occlusion I can't really pronounce it enable AO change the AO mode to ray trace and basically what that does is if you edit these settings oh I didn't enable it there we go now if you edit these settings, uh, as you can see on the P at the end there's like a shadow, so it gives your text more shadowing. So that looks nice. And you can change the quality of it and just stuff like that. And basically that's how you do 3D text in After Effects. So if you want to make it look nice, go to a new adjustment layer and then you can add a color correction. For like that example. Uh, for example and that looks a lot nicer than what it did before it brings out the text compared to the background so 
you can do that. I'll leave a preset for the 3D text and the glows and stuff like that all in the description and I'll give the CC as well. So I hope this helped you. Be sure to like, uh, subscribe and comment if you want more stuff or what you want. Peace.